What's popping, my lovely Pisces? How are you doing this lovely morning? What is going on? Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, Pisces. Yes. Yes, 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 Pisces. Thank you, Lord. Pisces, for all the people that order candles, your order is going out today. All right, for everyone that ordered the candles, they are all going out today. And also, Pisces, I was so busy yesterday doing readings, and I caught up with um my girl Van. Um, and um, I just want y'all to know that it's the the first quarter moon, and it is in Taurus. That means don't let nobody hold you back. Do what you got to do. And look for take action and whatever it is that you got to do. All right. And the crazy part of this, with this new moon, I didn't even get to see it. Because it's still cloudy outside, right? But in eight days, it's the full moon. This is crazy. In eight days, it's the full moon. Like, I don't know what this, it seems like this whole month is flying by it's it's already damn near your birthday our birthday and guess what pisces do it i rocks the damn fucking house you already know that shit pisces my birthday is february 19 i am the opening of pisces what family what 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 i'm super excited and guess what this year i am celebrating my birthday like i have never done before and i don't celebrate my birthday because um, I'm just a hermit, and that ain't no lie. I'm not a hermit. I was born a hermit. That's just what I do. I, I'm to myself. I don't. But this year, I'm going out like a bang, bang. Thank you, man, bang, 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 bang. You understand? Like, I'm going out like a bang. Um, I just want to say, Pisces, I love you, and I thank the world of you, and you're so fucking smart. If you just stay out of your own way and don't let nobody get the best of you, don't let nobody take you out of your character and all of that. You be good. All right? Come on. I don't, do you, I don't know what you want. That's new here. You'll be good if you if you allow yourself not to get so crazy. All right? Over other things and other people. And, like, it's our ego sometimes, you know, like, Somebody say something, you ain't going to just let it go because um, how they act with you. You know, I'm like this. I don't let things go either, but I do it in a different way. I don't I don't no longer act rude. I just, whatever. Because people like to curse you out. And Pisces, we're good for cursing people out. They get on our nerves. But I don't, I think I'm bigger than that. And I, I guess it's because it's my age. You know, wisdom comes with knowledge, and knowledge comes with wisdom. But as you get older, everything that meant all that to you don't mean that no more. Like, I don't waste my time, all right? Because I know that there's better things to come my way. And when I know how to act, and, I'm, and I have discipline in myself, you got to have discipline within yourself. You're going to be all right. You can't let nothing take you. And I know it's hard, Pisces, because... Uh, I'm not the kind of person that goes and apologize immediately. It'll take me a long time. You know, Pisces, when something ain't right with us, it takes us a long time to get over it. I'm, and I'm talking about, it can be a long time. But these days, I, don't, I right then and there, I, I get my right. I get myself right. And then, you know, I don't like to have nobody feeling like they walking on eggshells. And then, I, you know, because I feel like I said something, that, oh, I'm going to get back at no. I just let shit go, and I do apologize, and I don't care if it makes me um, feel like I'm less or whatever. I don't care, because in God's eyes, I'm doing the right thing, all right? And in my heart, and in my soul, all right, when I feel like the person that I offended, because they're going through something, I don't know what they're going through. But I offended them because they say something to me I didn't like. I apologize because I know for a fact they're going through something. Right? And I don't, I'm not saying, did I just walk in somebody's No. I know for a fact. Because I don't be around people. A lot of people where, you know. No. I, the people that I'm around, 
I know situations with these people. So I, I learned to be a little bit kinder, right? And treat people with respect because I don't live with them because I work around a lot of young people. Come on. I work a lot of, I'm sorry, that was Lulu, but I work around a lot of young people. And when you can ask these young people, what did you get for Christmas? And they're young. They in high school, they beginning, you know, some of them graduating from college, they losing their parents, they young, some of them don't, you know, they work. These kids work. I mean, they work on school nights every night. And they work night shift. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not like I used to be, you know. And even if I see somebody or I come in contact with anybody, like, I try to Watch what I say. And watch what I say about others that they may know. You know, I'm learning. It's getting it. I'm getting it. I'm learning. But when it comes to love, when it comes to love, I don't give my heart away anymore. I don't. Because you got to love God more than you would ever love me. You got to love God more than you will ever love me. And you got to love me more than I will ever love you. And you got to work, honey. Work. Right? Work. Yes. I don't care if I don't ever see you. Just go to work. And people may think, damn, that's kind of fucked up. No, it ain't. Because that's what I've always done for everyone. Did I ever truly love? Was work to, the, to my bones. To my bones. To my soul. Mm -hmm. And they had my heart. I don't do that no more. Because God said, I give you everything you need. Everything. And to me, everything that I need means more to me than having sex with somebody. And having somebody seeing everybody coming to me and giving me their cooties. All right? That's what it means to me. Mm-hmm. So, where people will ghost me, baby, call me the ghost. Call me the ghost. You can call me the ghost. Because that's what I do when people want to get crazy. Mm -mm. I don't allow people to come in my life and act crazy with me. You know why? Because people, you can't go to people's house, these men's house that you with, and just feel like I don't open people's refrigerator. I don't cook on their stove. I don't do none of that. None of it. So when a man thinks they can come to my house and do what they want to do, like, walk around, do what they want, play music, do tea. Honey, like, stupid shit. Like, you don't, it's like you can't come to somebody's house and disturb their peace. And think because you like something, they like it, but you in their house. So, my peace of mind means everything. And if my peace of mind means leaving people that are noisy, when I mean noisy, noisy. Don't respect your house. Don't care if you can hear the TV in your own house. And, and ask you if you're right in your own damn house. Baby, I don't need that kind of shit. Because there ain't no disco in this house. Now, ain't no disco. I don't, I don't, lit, I told y'all before. I'm not, I don't, I used to listen to music. But I don't need to be in my thoughts. So I don't listen to music. I don't even watch TV like that. I am a true hermit. When I mean a real hermit, a real hermit. I am my worst enemy, my best friend. I, I'm my best company, honey. I don't need nobody to come to my house making all this damn noise because I would never. 
it, it's like, how can you go to somebody's house and they making all this fucking noise in your ears and you sitting there for whatever hours and they making all this freaking noise and don't have no, no respect. That It's like they don't care how you feel. And I don't like that. And then they come to your house and do this. I, I don't, I don't need it. I'm not, I don't like, if I'm, uh-uh, uh-uh. So you got to remember, the way that you allow people to come in your life and treat you is the way they're going to treat you. They don't care if they are in your house, in the streets, or in their house. They treat you like, honey, I know. It needs a, let me tell you, you meet men today in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 30s. And they all act like they fucking teenagers. I just be like, what the fuck? They they drink more than they would drink. They would drink you out of house and home. Like I I don't live that kind of life. I really don't. So I don't know who I'm talking to, Pisces. But if you got these kind of people around you, you need to you need to check yourself. Okay. Now. If you go on to my, and know that I do readings, and my readings are eighty dollars, and they face to face, and you get them today or the next day. I don't do no email readings, no questionnaire readings. I, I give you the readings straight for. I don't time your readings. All right, so you get more than your money's worth. All right, and you get to meet me, and I'm very spiritual, and I try to tell you the right things in your life, and to. Look for these red flags because these red flags don't go away. They get worse. All right? Now, if you go up to my web page and you purchase my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, this is if somebody you think is doing something wrong to you or literally doing some crazy stuff to you. Right? Um, People can be vicious. People can do things with pictures, hairs, clothes. Anything they got of you, they can do some things to you, right? And the devil runs around the world just like God do, but he's not more powerful than God. For every one of us is a thousand devils energy around us. For every one of us that's living their life. In their spirituality. And I mean in their spirituality. I'm not talking about somebody go to church every Sunday. No. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody that really, truly, 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 truly is connected to their soul. Because when you connect to your soul, you connect to God. And you don't come. You don't meet your, your spirit overnight. Because you're like an infant and you grow into your spirit and depends on how much you, 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 you love, love the universe. And you live for it. That means you think about everything you do. You don't be, you don't say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then turn around, backslide with God. That is not the way you go. People don't even acknowledge what God does for them. Because as soon as that something good happened to them, you know what they say? Oh, Tom did this. Oh, Jerry did this. Oh, I got this because, no, you got it because the universe works in your favor. And when you do the right thing for yourself, for yourself, not for nobody else, but for yourself, the universe will work magic in your life. All right? So if somebody asks me, do I pick the universe over humans? Yeah, that's what I, I will pick. Yep, that's what I will pick, the universe. So I don't know where you at in your life. But it's only one way, and that's the right way. And if you choose to live the human world, you will always wonder in this world like a lost soul. And life ain't perfect. 
But it ain't that kind of craziness. Because God says, I'm not going to put all that weight on you like that. Your life ain't going to be crazy and chaotic. Because I'm going to always guide you. You got to make a choice. The Black Magic Spellbreaker candle is to break anything that you feel like is not right in your life. And when you light these candles, you need to say what it is. All right? There is a mirror in these candles. And there is the mirror. All the craziness is mirroring you. All right? The Abundant Prosperity Healing Growth Fertility Candle is this. It is everything that you want in your life that is right for you. Right? This is the Love Yourself Candle. And everybody knows I get down with the justice because that's what it is. All right? And if I feel like justice is justice, whether you go to court, whether you feel like somebody needs to be right. But if you handle yourself, handle this and this, and keep your ears open. You will receive justice because nobody can... Make you say something or make you do something. And if you get yourself trapped up in all that she say, he say, and you know, I need to have this um ego to, I can stand up and I'm going to say what I want to say and I'm going to treat, and I'm going to do them what they did to me. Oh, mm -mm. you need to let the universe and karma deal with this situation. And it will. It will. I promise you that it will. And that is for anything you're going through, whether you're going to DWI, you're going to criminal, you're getting traffic, you're getting child support, you're getting um, divorce, right? Whether you're going to court for your job, whatever accident, whatever it is, justice will be revealing itself. Okay? Whether you go to court for diapers, whatever it is that you go to court for, that's what it is. Palo Santo and Sage is to cleanse your house. Open up the window, whatever. Cleanse that house, right? Um, the red brick dust to put around your doorways or around your house and around you. And I do everything outside in front of the universe. This is what we all need. And this right here is... The water bath, which you need to work on your shadow side. And we are all have a shadow side, including I. We all have that shadow side to work with, right? Yes, we do. My oils come in oil form and in dry form. And I put my oils in every reading and I do not take, I keep oils on me. My evil eye stays on me. Um, I went and redid my bracelets, okay? You see they got the locks. And now you can see um, that um, my chakras, right? You see them? And so, um, because it, it's crazy, Pisces, but I did not even know that I was doing these braces at work and got so much business from, you know, the people at my job, from other kids and stuff like that. And so I had to have somebody come and help me make these braces and I pay them to do it. But, yes, and, and I make them in every kind of form and way, and they're beautiful. I make them with your name and all that. But I never thought that's how you don't never know what God is going to do for you or take you and what direction. But the good part is that I gave somebody a job. That's the best part. Right? And, you know, it's so much that you can do, and you don't even know that you're doing it. But when you, it's like if a person is thinking about so many things that they want to do, but 50 million things and they ain't doing none of them because they want to be, and that's a place you want. I, I don't be like that. I need to focus on that one thing and study it like I did with my lashes, like I did when I was building this, you know, getting this thing built to do my lashes, right? I, I'm, honey, somebody told me that I couldn't do that. I said, honey, just because you sitting in the house not doing nothing, that don't mean I'm not that one. Honey, I'm waiting for this this um um this weather, this winter to break through so I can really go to digging. 
because everything is hard, right? But um, as soon as they get going, I will damn sure get going. Nothing stops me from doing what I need to do. So you don't let nobody tell you and, and encourage you and say you can't do something. Just because you don't want to do nothing on me now, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. I, God ain't going to throw nothing in my hand if I can't work for it. Right? And some people are born with silver spoons and they can say that. But I'm not like that. Okay? I wasn't born like that. I don't know. I don't even know what it is for somebody to take care of me. I don't know what it is. Right? Because I go and work for everything I ever own. Right? Christmas and stones play a big part of your life. And also, your salt bath is one of the best salt baths. I got cave um, salt in it. And I also have herbs in the bag. All right. So let's get started with this reading. Now, I've been really truly in love with these cards that I'm that I'm been using because I like when it says a story. I like when it has pictures and it's telling you something, right? I like it because when you have cards like this, it makes everything so much clear and it's telling you exactly what is going on, right? In your life. Pisces, I have um, evil eye uh, necklace, bracelets, like this is shown the art, thanks to Miss Renee, even though I don't really see it, I don't see her anymore, I hope she's doing well, but Miss Renee was somebody that was following me for years, but sometimes you got to cut things off that is not good for you, and I don't let nobody stab me in my back. Honey, as soon as you think about it, I'm on you. All right? So, it is what it is. All right? Here we go. Joan or Art Michael, please allow me to do this reading. Ooh, ooh, and the cards are flying. So, the first card you got. The Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is when somebody feel like they being left out of something. Right? Somebody, um, somebody is like, I don't know if they're going to the bank, to the teller, or going to do something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so somebody's going to the some, some type of office. Right? I don't know what they go in the office for, but it's a lot of people, right? But two people are looking at the same thing, right? But you got the coins in your hand, and this person behind you don't. So somebody feel like they're being left out of money, and they're looking at the same thing you're looking at, Right? So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're doing, right? But some might feel like you left them out of something. Or you moving on or you getting something that they can't have. You know, it's like some it's it's like a man in your life and they feel like they being left out on something here on a plan that you're doing. But it's a line here. It's like on a line. I don't know if it's a bank. I don't know if it's an unemployment. I don't know if it's for a job. I don't know what it is for. But whatever it is, it's like you're going there for something. All right? And you got the money. You the one with the money. They watching you. Feel like they being left out of this. Out of what you building. Out of what you have. Whether you got a new job. Whether you got a good job. They feel like they not a part of you. Somebody feel like they they don't fit in or they don't fit in your life or they don't fit in your circle or whatever it is. It's like somebody feels like you left them out of something here that you're doing or a circle or um, your business or literally you cut them off, right? Um, and then you got the nine of swords. What is it that you worry about? What is it that is in your mind? Because it's about this. Look at this.
Like you have, you have what you want, but it's it's. I don't know if it's a person, right? Or I don't know if it's something here that worries you, right? And I, I don't know. It's like you have an anxiety. You you can't sleep, or I don't know if you're going to court, or or it's something about your money. Are you going to court? Are you? Is it a case here that you're going to, it's like you, you're going for your money. It's like something here about your money. And I don't know what you're fighting for, but it's something that's worrying you. It's, I don't know if you're going to court, whatever it is. It's something here that's worrying you, but you got the money in your hands. So I don't know if you're fighting a divorce or a child support or, um, a court order, something here you feel like, am I going to get this or how is this going to, what's the, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? But it, this is like, it bothers you. It might be, it, it might be something that whatever it is, you looking, two people are looking at in the same direction, right? But you got your coins in your hand. But still feeling like something is still not, like something is missing. Right? You got, you. it's like you want it, you got it, but you feel like you're not a part of something. A group of people. Right? Like you making money, but something is still missing in your life. Or you feel like you're missing out on something, or you're not a part of something. Like, you can have it all, but you're still missing on something. And you think about this all the time. You may work your ass off. And you may work hard at work. But And I, I'm going to say something to you, Pisces, because I know Pisces. One thing about us, we are workaholics. And one thing about it is we get with our money. If We might not do good when it comes to love. But when it comes to our money, we we will fucking, we, we will grind when, when it comes to our money. Right? We work our ass off. But it's something here that even though you may be working your ass off, making your money, whatever it is that you're doing, something here still keeps you up at night. And it's a situation that you got going on. And also, I also feel from this man that's sitting behind you, it's like, I don't know if you, you the person that, that puts everything out on the table, the person that pays the bills, cook, you know, put the food in the refrigerator, um, you know, take care of everything. Because somebody here, I don't know if somebody, are you missing somebody that, he's a user, are you missing someone that is not for you? Do you think about something that, are you thinking about a person here or a situation? Because you, you're not fitting in this situation, but you think about this. It's like something is not for you and you work, you work, right? Your ass off. But it's like you worry. It's like you lay in the bed and you this this bothers you and eats you up. Tell me what. And it's a man that sit beside behind you. Okay. Now, with this here, the wands. Look at that. When it comes to these wands, right? When it comes to these wands, this deck of cards, it just does not, I know it's a fire sign, right? But it is, is I need to know more. And I keep trying to write it, what the, what the, um, what, what does this card mean, right? Um, but, um, So,
Now, this can be the page of wands, right? Um, uh, and so I need to definitely go into this and find out what the hell um, does all these cards mean? Because this one here don't have the meaning of what it is, all right? So I'm trying to see what the hell, what, what is it? Um, so it's crazy because I don't, I would, I, would, I don't really deal with this stuff like this. This is the page of wands, all right? Something will set off a change reaction of creating force within you. And you are going to love it. Allow the passion, create energy to grow to and sweep off. This going to sweep you off your feet. You will be glad that you did it. Order your person. Okay. So it's something here that is keeping you up. Right? But whatever it is, it's a fire and it's it is gonna it's like telling you to do it and don't worry about it. It's whatever it is that you're worrying about, you need to really do it. Alright? You really do because um Pisces life is too short. To sit there and worry about everything that, um, they, whatever you may think, all right, you got to stop worrying because it's something here that's making you worry. And, but it's somebody here, it's like it's, so you have everything, but you stay thinking about this. It's like something is worrying you. But it says, go for it and stop worrying about it. Be creative about what you want. Right? Now look at this. The three of wands. Look out on top of this. So, you, it, it's like, I don't know if you left somebody out of your life or you cut somebody off or you, or, you, or this person, you and this person or like, y'all not seeing each other, y'all don't see eye to eye, or something happened, y'all not together, or it's a separation. Um, it's something here that you're not working with a person. But it says that, look at this, and it fell out just like this. Look. Right? So, whatever it is, Pisces, that you're going through, right? Like, this is saying that it's something here that you feel like something that, that you could be very creative at doing. And like, this is like literally saying, I don't know if you, you're trying to do something. You're trying to get to this money, or you got this money, but it's something that you want to do, but you haven't. You 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 need to explore more in it, right? You need to be moving aboard with it, right? Look ahead, even if you practically are satisfied with where you are at, you still need to start making plans on what you need to be doing next consider many approaches to your problems or 
goes and take advantage of the support system you already have. So what it's saying is, wherever you are working at, right, whatever it is that you're working at, the five of swords saying, all right, I got this money, but I want to do something else. But what else is it that you want to do? What else you want to do? And again, you want to, it's like you want to, you at work, but you want to build something on your own. It's like you want to do, you want to do something else besides what you do for a living. All right. All right. And so it's telling you, yeah, you, you good where you at because you got, you making money, right? But it's something else that you want to do. You looking at the, uh, 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 computer, you looking at information, you looking at, um, more of, of uh, looking at more of what you want to do. You might be at your job, but you really thinking about what you want to do. But if you got a mind to scramble all over the place, how can you make a move on this one particular? If you say, oh, I want to work at a store, or oh, I want to do hair, or oh, I want, honey, you all over the place. All right? No, that's not how it goes. How it goes is, I want to make candles, and I'm going I'm to eat and breathe these candles. Right? And I'm going to make these candles out. Okay, so when you open up, what I'm just making this uh, uh, example. If you open up a candle business, right, that candle business will take you to doing bath lotions, body splash, and shit like that, right? But if you're the kind of person who say, I want to, okay, I want to, I want to, um, be the artist to dress somebody, dress an artist, or go in somebody's house and make up their closet and all this shit, right? And then, you, you, you go in the house and you make up their closet now. They want you to do a wardrobe so when they go on stage, right? It's all a part of what you do. But if you're the kind of person that you're all over the place, well, baby, I don't know how you decide on what you want to do if you're all over the place. Because if you're all over the place, how would you know what you want to do when you every fucking where? And I know people like that got 50 million ideas and ain't done shit. Right? Yeah. I know people that can make money in their house, but they still got shit in a box. And they ain't done shit about what they got. Because some people are like that. Um, but it's saying, look at you. Look at this. It, it, this is showing you clear as fucking day. Take a leap at what you want to do. Like your spirit is calling you. Look at this. Just do it. Take a chance on yourself. Right? Because, baby, look at this. Two people doing the same thing. You got the money. Okay, I'm, I'm here in this live and I could be doing something. I'm going to go get my LSC license. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. But you looking at everything in your office or looking at it on a computer or looking at it on your phone, studying it, but when are you going to do it? And you got to start somewhere. All of this that I had, I didn't get overnight. I started little by little. Little by little. I never knew in my wildest dreams that I would be making bracelets for kids and turn it into a business. You know why? Because I can't make 50 bracelets for this school and I don't know how many for that and how many for that. I didn't listen to me. I got my YouTube. That means the world of me. I do private readings. I got an online store. I do lashes. I got an online store for that. And I go to work. I didn't even see this coming. So I had to get somebody, hire somebody to do it. Because I didn't see it coming. Right? It's not something that if you go on my web page now, I don't even sell jewelry like that. I sell my jewelry like, you know, but I don't do all that jewelry I used to do with that metal. That's a lot of fucking work of welding and all that. Right? So it's something that you want to do. It's like you got a job, but you want to, you want, you got a job and then you do something on the side, but you want, you want something to branch off and like you looking for that doorway to get in it and God is saying, jump in it. Right? Because Pisces, it's a lot of people 
that would love to be in your shoes. All right? And you don't even know it. It's somebody here that feels like you got everything you got going on. And they it's like they wish they could be you. They want what you do. Or what you it's like somebody sitting at it's like somebody watches you and, and then you doing all this shit, but they wish they could be you. They wish because it's like you make everything easy, but it's not. But it's telling you. You keep looking in a computer. You keep looking at this computer. You keep looking at it and studying and studying. And it's saying, why don't you go in and look at this? It's beautiful. The food. And I love this food car because guess what? You got a white cat and you walk it. It's, it's like your soul is telling you, jump in it. You're not alone. Come on, let's do this. What are you so afraid of? How much can you study? How much more can you know? How much more? One thing I, I will tell you, Pisces. Whether this is a job, whether you're dealing with a person, whatever it is. Right? However you're doing it. um, I feel like this is personal because... You got, it's like somebody feel like they not a part of you anymore because you're too busy doing work and you're doing this and you're doing that. You really, it's like somebody is feeling your absence. Somebody feels like they not a part of you. Somebody feels like you too busy or you doing too much or somebody feel like they want to be you. And then... But you sitting there breaking your thinking about what is it? I, I don't know how to start. I don't know what to do. I, I just want this, this break. I want to, I want a break. I want a breakthrough. I want this to come through. Like you may be in that field, but you haven't still got your break. Or you may work at an office or you may be that person that got that busy fucking job there. The line don't stop. The work don't stop. It's so much work to fucking be done with that five of swords, with that five of pinnacles. Like, like you got a, you got a lot on your plate. It's like you got it going on, but it's somebody here that feels like they're not a part of your world. All right? They feel like you constantly working all the time. If somebody here that wants to literally, it's, it's, it's like the spirit is telling you, you can do whatever you want, but then you got your mind playing tricks on you because it's, I feel like it's your, what you want to do, and then you got a problem of somebody that stays in your mind and it's craziness, right? Like you think about, it's like you got everything going at one time, or you got somebody fucking really thinking, right? You got somebody breaking their head thinking here. Yes. Look at this. The universe is telling you, why is you sitting there feeling this way? You know what I know, do know, right? What I do know is like, what? it's like you feel like there's no more love. Like you may have a good job. You may have good things going on. You don't mean to have that good job. You, you have your own shit going on, but what you don't have. Is what you really want. And what it is, is love. It's somebody. Right? You bored. You're not excited. Because what completes you is somebody else. But the universe is saying, girl, don't worry about all that shit. Don't worry about that. Right? Because if you stop worrying about that or that person... Right? And it's like you're bored. It's, it's somebody doesn't excite you. But it's like you want something that makes you happy. Something that's going to excite you. But because I, Pisces, whatever it is that you done left out, you done left out for real. It's like, I'm not thinking about you. Not even a little bit. I'm working my ass off. I'm not thinking about you. Not even a little bit. Right? But you still want some excitement in your life. You, it's like you're bored. Like you work, but you're bored. You want some type of excitement in your life. And, and you look at everything.
everything you've been through, and it's like you're bored with, with, you might be bored with this person, you might be bored with a situation, and, be, and it's like you just are not where you want to be, because you, it, I feel like you, you broke something off for of somebody, or you not seeing a person, or y'all separated, or whatever it is. But whatever it is, Pisces, you bury yourself into work, and you got a lot of shit going on, projects and this and that, and that, and that. But you missing out on something here, and you, but you bored with what you have. It's like I'm bored. It's like I, I was bored with that person. That person is just bored me. It, it don't bring me excitement anymore, right? But. You have what you want, but it's like you always thinking about, I'm not good when it comes to love. I can't even have somebody to love me the right way because I never get this. I don't get what I want when it comes to love. But the universe is saying, look, why don't you stop worrying about what it, what, what your past is or what, what you had that didn't excite you and didn't, you know, like if you got to sit here and worry about People that are not good for you and how things ended, right? And like you can't let go of the thoughts of you and a person, but you know they ain't right for you, right? If you stop worrying about that, you know, and say, you know, let me, okay, let me jump in. Let me have fun. Why don't you get out the house? Why don't you go out where you can meet people, you can see new people, do things like that. And then when you go places, you meet people. And then whatever you think in your fucking brains out, right? Then you will meet new people and it'll make it easier for you. Now, I'm not saying go to bed with you, with you but you around other people. Because whatever, whatever it is that you said, I had enough of you, is not for me. Or somebody said they had enough of you and you, you just dived into your work. Right? You still think about every fucking thing you went through. You might, you maybe even feel how somebody abandoned you. Right? And it's, and that's what you think about. Right? It's like you go to work and you think about it. Every day, it's not a day to go, don't go by that, that shit don't cross your mind. But it's really don't incite you. It, it, it's nothing like, I don't know, you're not, you're bored. You're not excited with this person. It's like I can invite this person. It's like you can invite. I Okay. I can invite this person that get, stays in my mind. But when I see him, I don't really want to be with you. Right? It's like, mm -mm. it's nothing. It's not there anymore. The love is not there. But the past, the lessons are there. And they there constantly, it's like it constantly reminds you of what, 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 what. But at the same time, it's like it, it might remind me of what, 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 but I was, I'm bored with that person. I need some excitement. Right? But why is this person staying in your mind? I don't know, because the universe said, I got something better for you. Way better than that. Right? So... Like, you feel like you're missing out on opportunity, but you're not because the universe is giving you this cup. Right? That's how you feel. Right? You feel like, because then you got the, four, the five of cups and then you got the four of cups. Look at the cups the universe has for you. But it's like, you feel like you're missing out on opportunity here, right? It keeps you up. But you're not missing out because all you're doing is looking at all everything you went through that wasn't good for you. How can you be missing on an opportunity that keeps you up at night? How can you miss out on opportunity that you bore with, that you discontent with, that it's not exciting you, it's not making you happy? The universe said, stop being happy, honey. Stop feeling like you lost out on something or you missing out on something. Because, shit, I got bigger shit for you. But you got to get out of this, right? You got to get out of it. 
You got the empress. Maybe you had a child by this person. Right? Maybe you feel like um, you alone. Right? Maybe you got your mom helping you. You know, it's somebody around you, older, that's helping you. Um, but you, it's like you, just, you got a child that's happy around you. But you planting seeds, it's like you planting something to grow. This also means get in touch with yourself. Right? Find what makes you happy. You maybe want to have a child. Maybe you do have a child by somebody. Maybe you, um, this is the person you wanted their kids. Maybe this, you know, this person has a child. Or maybe you are, it's something here that you're elegant, you're powerful. But it's like you planting the seeds, but you don't know. I feel like you got everything going on, but you still don't feel it. You still don't see it. You got everything you need, but it, the, the Empress is very powerful. It's like the highest priest, you, and then the Empress, and then the Emperor. Like you're giving birth to something new and exciting, but you got to stop worrying about the past and what you and what you missing out on it, and um, what you bored with and all this and that. And uh 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 uh, you need to get out of that thought. And, and move on to something that's going to be very creative. Move on something that, that's going to make you happy. Because that's what it means. It means that you are creating something. Like, and I feel like, it, it, and it's got a lot of cups, right? And it's got the ten of sword, which means whatever it is, it keeps you up at night. And you think about that love. It's like a person that you think about, you, I don't know, you may be so in love with somebody, I don't know. And the shit ain't right, but that's what you want. Right? You may have kids by this person. This person may have kids. Maybe you plan on having kids. I don't fucking know. But it may go like that with you. But with me, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Like they say, get what fits you and leave the shit behind. Uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Love, I ask God for the new. I don't ask God to bring back somebody from my past that wasn't shit to me. They treated me like royalty shit. I don't want that. I want some new. I want to give birth to a whole new life, a whole new way. Right? I plan the flu. I spray the man's perfume because I want the new. I don't want no old shit. I want the new shit. I want nobody to drive me crazy, don't do shit for me, play games. Right? Come in and out of my life. They want a future with you. When you don't build the future with me, because you ain't building shit. All right, they not. So you gotta decide what is best for you, for real. Because you got it going on, but you you too busy worrying about every fucking thing that don't even matter. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You can build beautiful things, but it's like you are annoying. And knowing something that is there for you, God has given it to you because you want what is not right for you. And you feel like you're missing the opportunity. But you got everything you want. You can be very creative because it goes it goes from the four cups to the empress. Like you got everything. God has given you everything. Honey, you got to have self-love. All right? Self-love. You the mother of creativity. All right? With this page, you come to me. And when you come to me, it's somebody wiser. Now, this car has somebody elderly with the cups. Like somebody saying, baby, you need to get your ass up and do it. Right? You ain't got the word because you, you can create anything you want. Have anything you want. And I'm telling you, the cups is there for you. And whatever it is that you feel like you missed out on, and you no longer have it in your life, and you got to think about it, worry about it, be in distress. 
Why don't you turn that around and, and, and plant seeds that you're going to grow and plant seeds that you can drink from and that your cups is full and they're not empty, right? Because these cups here, they look like they're empty and then you, you pick up and you do things but you still feel like you're missing out on trash, right? Well, you can be creative and do anything you want. And I'm trying to tell you this because you got the page of ones where they're saying, I can do what I want. You're starting to build something. You want to do it. And I'm saying, why don't you give the cups to yourself? Why don't you do that? Because you're worthy of this. You're worthy of it. But you can't be worthy if you're thinking about everything else that don't even fucking matter. Right? It's like, you can make your money, but your feelings and how you feel about people can fuck you up. You can be in a good place in your life, but when you start letting your emotions and your feelings control you, it's like you're going downhill, right? Because we are cops and we're very emotional. But when you let your thoughts take over your emotions, and now you, oh, well, I'm going to miss out, and oh, I could have had him, and oh, he's doing this, and he's doing that with somebody else, and oh, he ain't doing it with me, and I know, girl, that's too much thinking. Uh-uh. Tell me more about this fool. Tell me more. It's like Pisces. When it comes to your money, you can do shit, but when it comes to love, you fucked, because you, that's what you think about. That's what you want. But, shit, what love's got to do with it? What love's got to do with any fucking thing? Because I'm in love with God. That's my man. That's my husband. That's my man. That's everything. Right? So, whatever it is that, from the beginning here. We talking about the beginning. The page. There's a plan and you're working, but you want something else on your own. It's like you want to you wanna have your job, but you want to really build something else for yourself. Or open up a business or something here, right? You doing that? You you really researching and doing all the work for that business, even though you work it, and your your job can be a lot, like shit, a lot. It's like you the kind of person that may have more than one job, but you want to branch out and do something on your own, right? For yourself. But this ten of this nine of swords and and this um this. Five, four, four cups, and then there's five of cups, and then there's empress. Like you worrying about, you got, you you got too much on your plate, and it's all in your head, right? Everything is in your head and in your feelings, right? The three of pentacles. Somebody may be offering you a job. Somebody may be wanting to work with you. Maybe this person wants to work with you. They you know, this person look like they got a lot, can take you places, can do something. Or this person may be the person that you're worried about. Can may be having their own business, their own studio, their own um, whatever it is. They got their own. And it's like um, this person is the kind of person that is too much, too much. It works with, and this can mean a party of three, right? This person don't want to work with me, but want to work with them. Right? Oh, this person started a business with them but didn't want to do it with me. Right? Oh, I'm missing out on, on an opportunity making this, um, working with somebody because I'm all in my feelings about some other shit. Right? Because the Three of Pentacles is something that you can build. Some Somebody wants you to work with them. Some Somebody has a status. Right? But it's like, I don't know, somebody can listen to music, musician, have their own business, have a, a, a studio. Um, but somebody here got some records on the wall. They got a whole bunch of stuff on the wall. It's like, whoever this person is, Pisces, this person is, they want to work with you, right? But maybe they just want to work with you. They don't want to be in a relationship. Or maybe this is something that you plan and it's going to work for you and you're going to have other people working for you, Right? Oh, you're going to have love for this. Whatever it is, it's like music, 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 music. 
It's something here that you always think about. You want it's like you want to work with somebody, or you want to work this out, or you want, you know, you just it's something here that you want to work. It's like something here you want, but you constantly worry about every bad thing that happened. But you're not looking at that it's more than just that. And the universe wants you to see it, but you're not seeing it. Right? So then you plan things to grow. And then you're going to grow because you, it's like everything's going to come together. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more. The Ace of Swords. Some type of communication. Something needs to be cut off. Right? Something right here needs to be. The Ace of Swords is like we're going to talk. We're separated. Or something here needs to be done right. But it's not. It's something it is telling you. Take a good look at this. Right? Somebody wants to work something with you, but it's something here that is not together or, or wasn't together or it's separated. But somebody here wants to work something. Somebody wants to sit down and talk to you. Um, mediation, whatever it is, it's something here that's, I want to, let's sit down and talk, but it's something here that's split in half. Right? Tell me more. Let me pull one more. And that's the ace of sword got you really think, oh shit, look at this. Justice, there you go. Argument, a fight, separation, divorce, two people fighting in court. All right? It's something here that it, you and this person were separated. You and your, it's something here um, needs to be balanced. Something needs to be right, made right. But I feel like it's a separation and this don't feel good. Right? Justice will serve. It's like something here is going to be served. All right. Something here is going to be served. Tell me more about this. And, and here I come at the end. Right. Something here is going to work out. The two of pinnacles. You cannot let nobody. Take you off balance. Somebody seems to, they like to scream, all right? It's like somebody here wants, it, 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 it's something here that likes to scream or likes to, like, throw you off, right? Or this may be at a job, but this may be a separation or something here got you all fucked up. And it's about your money here. It's about Seeing justice, being right, something got to be right, something got to be cut off, right? Or something is cut off and, and you go on a court or something needs to be right, made right. But whatever it is, you're very, you're growing into something here. But you can't let, and I'm trying to tell you all the time, stop letting people throw you off. Focus on what makes you what what makes you happy. Don't worry about what somebody is saying, somebody is doing, somebody. Just worry about yourself. Right? Stop being angry. Right? Worry about yourself. Right? Because at the end, everything is going to work out. It's going to be balanced. But you, you got to balance yourself. You can't always be like, you know, in this mode where, you know, like throwing off because you're going through these crazy um, emotions, right? This roller coaster. So it's something in it, and it, it, somebody looking, screaming, and carrying on, right? The tower, right? Something's coming, or something's coming apart. Somebody's. It's like somebody is just. Likes to scream, likes to throw you off. Like it's like my money. Don't play with my money, right? Don't play with my damn money. That's what I'm telling you. Don't play with my money. But it's something falling apart, right? Because somebody needs to have balance with everything in their life, right? So whatever it is, it's a tower moment here. 
I want to offer you the world. I want to give you everything. But, honey, I don't know how because this person has some type of addiction. They like for you to be tied up to them. They, It's like this person brings nothing but fucking problems. Right? And, and I don't care who it is. Problems. They got addiction. It's like I can offer you everything, but I just do that because I want to keep you tied up to me. Right? Look at the way they are sneaky, conniving, liars. A drunk. They can't promise you no love. It ain't nothing there to promise you because this motherfucker can't give you shit. They fucking up your money. They fucking up the way you think. I mean, they cause problems. You can't grow with this person. You can't grow in this house. This house is... You know, it's like it's when something is not meant to be, it's not meant to be. When it's not meant to be, you can try all you want. If it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be. Right? Because somebody, it's like, I don't know. This person might have been cooking in the house, start burning down. Or, it's just like, I don't know. This person is too much. This person may be a chef. This person may work in the kitchen, may like to cook, whatever it is. But whatever it is, it's like, uh-uh. This person, like... They want to build something with you. They want to do something with you. They want to offer you something. But they bring nothing but chaos. They, you can't build shit with this person. Nothing. This person may be loud, like to argue, may scream, right? Get Got a, a quick temper, right? But I want to offer you love, but I want to keep you here. It's like, I, I want to keep you under me. You need to listen to me. It's like somebody's controlling you. But you don't know how to get out of this. This is crazy. Like, I don't know, Pisces, to each his own. Like, you need to get over this. It's like, you need to get over it. All right? And I mean, get over it. This person is about sex. This person is about partying. This person is about the fast life. This person ain't about you. They about fun, fun, fun. All right? And then they want to, like, your money is your money. And they, it's like this person is so crazy. It's like God and the devil. What you want to do? Right? This person ain't, this person is too much. And they trying to get away with something. They sneaky, they conniving, they're liars, they cheaters. They trying to get away with something. It's like they looking in your house. They looking at what you doing. They watching you. It's like you need to get over this. And I don't know what is it going to take for you to get over this. But you need to get over it. All right? Because what you live in is a lie. It's not reality. The devil, I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all, the devil always try to make you feel like you, but look at, look how you tied up and they looking at you laughing. Just look at this shit. You need to get over it because whatever they promising you, that's a fucking lie because all they want to do is bring you down. It's like they built you up to bring you down, built you up to bring you down. And like, you don't even know what the fuck to think about this person because this person is nothing but a liar. Now you figure that shit out. And you got, you're getting advice by somebody that's trying to teach you, trying to tell you what's the right thing is. But no, you, you, I want to work with it and listen to them. And all they do is put you in more shit than you in. That's what they do. They, it's like they want to, they don't want you to grow. They don't want you to be successful. Right? This is what you need to work on. Your fucking money. You know, build what you want. You don't. Shit, shit don't have to be built with this person. You built shit on your own. Just like the girl told me, you gonna, I don't see you built, honey, I'm gonna build this shit with them or without them. I don't need nobody to fucking help me. I'm, I'm not, it's, I'm not paralyzed, honey. My limbs work. When people act like they can't do shit for themselves and they gotta have somebody do for them and all they do, they gotta worry about when it's, where's the next money coming from because all they do is worry about who's gonna take care. That's what they do. I don't do that. I'm a hustler. Uh, honey, before I done anything right in my life, I sold drugs. Okay, that's what I did for a fucking, and I always kept the job, but that was my main fucking thing. All right, so I am a hustler by nature. 
And that's some real shit. I, I don't play when it comes to what I need to do and my plans. And that's why, to me, because this reading is crazy, but to me, I'm a builder. I built shit. Right? I don't, if some, if I feel like, because I was born February the 19th, so my, I got air before even coming into Pisces. But one thing I'm going to tell you, and one thing for sure, I don't give nobody that much space that I'm so in love with that they can continue to trash me. Honey, I was told by a man, by a man, would you, how much longer you going to do now? How long you going to take now this time? Don't fucking worry about how long I'm going to take. Because guess what? You bring nothing but craziness to me. Right? So it's easy for me to demolish you and let you go. Because what are you doing for me? What have you done for me lately? Nothing. Nothing. So that's why it's so easy for me to say goodbye. Because if it was right, I won't have to look and I won't have to worry. You need to get out of this addiction that you have with a person. And I mean an addiction that you have with somebody. Because they're feeding you nothing but lies. Lies after lies after lies. They're, it's like you are a revolving door for craziness obsession you cannot pick up trash and clean it up and expect it to look really good because guess what that's what you're doing it's like you around somebody that's addicted to many things sex drugs party whatever it is money whatever it is and you can't get rid of it because it's in your system they are in your system you figure it out, Pisces. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I don't give a fuck who you get it from. Because I don't hate on nobody's motherfucking parade. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.